yeah hello viewers greetings to you and welcome to my channel today i want to show you how to test the strength of your battery using a load using a load to know if your battery is okay it's still good because during the day when the sun is available you will not know the system will be performing very well but in the night when the sun is not there and you you know try to switch on the system to power your loads you hear the inverter beeping and before you know it the system will shut down now you can test if the battery is uh, if it is the battery that uh, that is causing that problem so one of the ways is uh, you can test using uh, a load this is my load this is a hundred watts bulb and i'm using this hundred amps uh, battery this is a 100 amps battery, 12 volts, 100 amps battery. Now, if this battery is fully charged, it's supposed to power this uh, bulb for more than 8 hours. 8, 10 to 12 hours. This uh, 100 amps battery is supposed to power this load for more than 8 hours. Now, if the battery is fully charged during the day when the, there is enough sunshine, and in the night you turn, up, uh, you turn on this load, and the battery is not, uh, the system is not able to sustain or to carry the load for some hours. You should know that there is a problem, there is an error, and you can test if it is from the battery. So, uh, I have my load, like I said, then this is the inverter, this is my AC breaker, then my charge controller, where I'm mod I am monitoring the voltage, then I have my, uh, this is my DC breaker here, then this is the 100 amps battery. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to turn on the inverter. I'll switch it on. The inverter is on now. Then you can see from the reading in the charge controller that the battery is full. You can see the bus and it's reading the voltage there is 13.0 volts. Now it is connected to solar. Uh, the solar input. You can see the charging. You can see the, the bus. This is the solar bus. It's charging from that's the solar panels bar. It's uh, receiving uh, energy from the solar panels. So I'm going to switch on this AC breaker to switch to turn on the load. The load is on. Now let's watch. You can see that it has dropped to 12.5. Now I'm going to switch on the solar uh, switch off. Sorry, I'm going to switch off the solar panel. This is my DC breaker, so I'm going to switch it off. It is off. There's no solar input as you can see. So you can see that the voltage is dropping. It is now 12.1. The load is still on, so let's wait and see if this can last for up to 8 hours. It's already dropping to 12.0. It's dropping to 12.0. So still watch and see how long, uh, how far this uh, battery can carry this load. This 100 watts incandescent uh, bulb. I told you that if the battery is fully charged and the battery is okay, it is normal, it is functioning efficiently, it's supposed to carry this, uh, uh, to power this bulb for more than 8 hours. So the energy here is supposed to sustain this bulb for more than 8 hours. But here, now it has dropped to 12.0, already telling you that the battery is uh, going down and there is no solar input. So we are assuming this is in the night where the sun is no longer available and you need the energy to power your loads so you have turned on the loads and this is what is happening it has dropped drastically from 13.0 uh, to 12.0 so let's still wait and see uh, how far it will go for those of you who uh, may want to buy Tokumbo batteries you can test the Tokumbo battery before you pay you can test the Tukumbo battery with a load. You apply a heavy load like this 100 watts uh, um, above. Then to see how far, you can see it has dropped to 11.9. It means the battery is not okay. It is not okay. So no matter how fully charged it will be. And another way you can also know that this battery is bad is that once you connect it to solar panels during the day when the sun is available, and the load is off you see it it will, it will just increase to uh, 13 point uh, something or 14 point something volt to let you know that the battery is already dead so the one of the ways for you to know that your battery is dead is that the battery will charge very fast and it will also discharge very fast it charges fast 
and discharges fast once your battery is behaving like that you should know that the battery is uh, no longer strong so for your battery to drop from uh, to drop below 12 volt this is already 11.9 is a danger sign and it is not good for you to drain your battery to this level when you are draining your battery every day to 11.9 your battery will drop to will discharge to 11.9 11.5 it is not good it will kill that battery very fast if it is still a new battery but for this one the battery is already weak it's a weak battery uh, as you can see so let me turn off the load the load is off you can see it has increased back to 12.1 then let me switch on the solar panels the panels are on you can see the solar panels on it has increased to 12.5 this is 12.6 okay it's fluctuating so uh, another way you can test is uh, by using this multimeter you can use a multimeter for example you have like four batteries in series or eight batteries uh, uh, that are connected in series and in parallel maybe it's a 48 volt system uh, and you have many batteries in your battery bank and you want to know the one that is bad uh, switch off turn off the solar panels that's why you always need a breaker between the solar panels and the charge controller so when you turn off the solar panels then you now uh, switch on your load you now connect a load to that battery bank when you switch on the load you begin to test the battery's voltage individually each of the batteries you begin to check them check their individual voltage to see the one that is draining fast the one that is weak, the one that is no longer okay, the voltage will be dropping very fast. But the batteries that are okay, uh, the voltage will not drop uh, fast like that. But the ones that are bad, once you uh, uh, put your test probe, positive and negative, you see the battery reducing, dropping very fast. Then you should know that uh, that is the battery that is giving that battery bank uh, issues and you have to change it. So thank you for watching.